Hi, I'm Alba from Canon Medical Systems. MRI is complex, but simple explanations behind the latest MRI methods are always good to know. Today, let's talk about computer diffusion for two minutes. Water molecules are constantly diffusing within our bodies, and this diffusion can be restricted by different obstacles, such as cell membranes or macromolecules, Therefore, the characteristics of restricted water diffusion can provide clinically useful information about the composition and physiology of different tissues. Diffusion weighted imaging, or DWI for short, is a very common MR technique that allows depicting these differences in water molecule diffusion and differentiating tissues according to their restriction levels. Oncology is one of its main applications as active tumors have increased cellular density, which leads to a higher diffusion restriction. The DWI acquisition is defined by a parameter called the V-value, which dictates the sensitivity it has to the kind of diffusion that is captured in the image. Typically, at least two acquisitions with different V-values, one low and one intermediate, are needed in order to calculate ADC maps and to observe different kinds of diffusion processes. With higher V-values, the detection of areas with lower diffusion is better, reflected in a higher relative signal intensity on the image for these diffusion-restricted areas. However, acquisitions with high V-values inherently have lower oval orders than R, present to shine through, and have longer scan times. One alternative to acquiring these images is to calculate the high V-value images by extrapolation from the low and intermediate ones. This allows to obtain the high v-value images without any additional scan time, avoiding the drawbacks of their acquisition. Of course, in real practice, the implementation is a bit more complicated. So if you want to know more about how computer diffusion works, click on the link and download the attached Good to Know document. You will find additional information, answers to some questions from the field, tips and tricks, and best practices. And if you like this video, Hit subscribe to stay tuned for more simple explanations that are good to know.